Welcome, guys. It's been a short break, but we're back here with Coast to Coast and the Papa Nigga Boys. We got here Frankie again. Can't miss out Frankie. Frankie, what's going on? Actually, you know how it is. what's going on? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So I have a good, uh, I have a question for you guys. What are the top five worst good movies? I know we always talk about the best movies all the time, but what are the top five worst good movies? That like you know it's bad, but you like it. Wait, so that's best bad movies? Best, what? Best, well, best bad movies, best bad movies, but they're good. <laughs> okay, so worst good movies, so like good movies that aren't great compared to other movies? Exactly, but you personally like them. So movies are, so, movies are bad, but you kind of like turn off your brain and you say, you know what, I like this movie. Um, the Godfather. The Godfather? Not applicable. <laughs> NA right there. I was actually going to say for Frank, it would probably be The Untouchables. Or The, wow, The, the Expendables. The Expendables? The Expendables? Well, Frank, Expendables? Hold on, hold yeah, on. Hold on. Frank, Stallone. I want to know. I don't want to oh, know. yeah, definitely. Fast and Furious movies. Wow. Wow, man. The Fast and Furious <laughs> movies are like the Jersey Shore of movies. <laughs> I like them, man. I can watch them. All right, so, but, but not like an entire series. Like, what will be like just a single, a single movie? Why do you always do this? Why can't I just choose a series? And- no, no, just like just because you don't respect the third part of the Godfather doesn't mean that you gotta go and shit it on everybody else's series. No, but I'm just just single out when movies. You take the Godfather. You gotta take movies it as stand a whole. alone. Movies stand alone. Take it as a whole. We don't acknowledge. No, we don't. No, no. We and Hizzy don't acknowledge that there, the third one ever existed. Yeah, so, so when you say Godfather 3, we don't know what you're talking about. What about 4? You... Aaron watched it. Did he like, actually claim that? Yes. There is a fourth, tiny a fourth part to the Godfather. It's called the Godfather Epic. Yeah, and but that's all of them that's together. That's all of them together. That's but not a fourth part. It came out after. It just doesn't matter. That's just... It's, like, it's kind of like the director's cut. And then... Because they, they do show things that are it's not... Exactly not it's not. It's, it's a director's cut. They're, they show things that you, you're never going to see in the theoretical version. Oh, yeah. so is it nine, like, nine hours straight through? Like when you sit through it? Yeah, it's nine hours. Nine hours or something. Huh? Is there any... Is I, seen there it? Any? I, don't, I don't remember. I haven't seen the whole... No, you no, hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. I know I didn't. But I seen pieces of it. And I... Like, do you remember when... Um, the first one with Michael... Like, they killed his wife? I remember. I, uh, you remember? I remember. I remember. Okay, but you remember? You remember? <laughs> <laughs> You remember when they killed his wife? Yeah. Okay. Well, he goes and he seeks revenge in the second one. You never. Do you remember that happening in the second movie? Absolutely. No, because that's part of the director's cut. So they put that in the movie. They put a bunch of things in the movie. Yeah, but that's not a fourth part because that's like calling. Um, yeah, it's like the calling. Director, the director. It's not. To, it's um, not. But there is a fourth. The Batman vs Superman movie at the second part. That's just right. a director's cut. It's it's like another release, but it's not part four. It's, it's, it's like it's the Star not. Wars special editions aren't like new movies. It's not. But if you would call it something like. And don't call it part four. Okay, well, whatever. It, I'd never call it a part four. It's a part, Godfather but, epic. But, it came out after, so that's just, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. That's not a part four. Not at all. Okay. Because when you told me there was a part four, or, or I didn't Aaron, say it was. That Aaron saw a part four. Aaron said it. He said that he liked the first, his favorite one's the fourth one. I don't know how high he has to be, <laughs> but, but I'm like, you've never seen that movie. I mean, there, there wasn't even a third one, so how could there be a fourth one? You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. You can't just skip one. Yeah, people are. I'm waiting don't for the sense. third one to come out again. Yeah. Al Pacino's getting old, man. Yeah, they gotta make it fast. Robert Robert Duvall still around? Yeah. Do you think Marlon Brando's gonna be in it? <laughs> Marlon wow. Brando was in the second one. Yeah. You remember him? He wasn't though. He w- he was in the second one. He didn't actually appear in the second one. He did. At the the, the scene at the end where was the- it was filmed from the first one? No, but he never actually comes out. They couldn't get him to come back for the second part. So they filmed that scene about his birthday at the end where all the family's together. So it's just a random actor? No, he never shows up. It's all dad's here, and then they all go yeah, off screen. You, you, no, you do see him. You don't. Look at him. You do see him. For a, for a moment. Like, he just he doesn't say a word. He just says, like, Jimmy, come all it up. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy, pull it up. <laughs> we'll have to, I mean... You think Joe Rogan's ever gonna, like, if we ever become big on this, you think Joe Rogan's gonna claim that on us? Hey, you guys owe me some some portion of this, or you'll see. Joe, I'll just ignore him. I'm like, Joe, what's up? You want to be in the show? <laughs> That's all I do. Like, are you guys making fun of me, or like, are you guys like gonna? Ah, uh, Joe, have a seat. Yeah. Do you, do you think Joe Rogan is that type of guy? No, I don't think. So. I don't think so. Don't think so. He looks like a humble guy. Cool guy. Mm-hmm. But uh, Jamie, pull that up quickly. <laughs> 
now we're actually like inviting him to sue us if he ever hears us. Yeah. Yeah. One, one more Jamie and it's over. One more Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give it to him. Jamie. Pull that out. <laughs> Pull Technically, that out. he can't sue us for that. No, he can't sue us That's for that ours. One. <laughs> Copyrighted. But the dude, the worst good movies. What no, would you no. say? Give us, give us an example. Worst good movies, in my opinion. Ooh. Gee, it's a fucking hard question. Kid. It is a hard question, but, hard but the, thing, the thing is, I'm very pretentious about the movies I watch. So, yeah, we like to like hold them to a certain standard. Yeah, so I don't know. Ah, uh, John Wick. Okay. John Wick. Yeah. Well, you could also say the uh, Matrix sequels. <sighs> but those aren't. I good like them. <laughs> I like them. Exactly. The worst. No, and they're, they're not bad movies. You think they're bad movies? Some of them. I, I, which was the one that has um the twins? Yeah, that's the they're reloaded. One. Yeah, that was where it gets a real nice and animated for you that you know. Like, yeah. Neo goes and turns, and he fights a right? million Agent Smiths. Yeah, exactly, like that was Matrix One. Nobody's got any no, that, that. That's, that's like, one of the all-time greats. Mm-hmm. But the, the sequels aren't like all there. You're not that good. I mean, I like the conversation that he has with the architect. That's my probably my favorite part of the movie. It's a good part. Deep, yeah, but does it save the whole movie though? I mean, one conversation. It's a pretty. It's a very well-written scene. I'll give you that, but not enough to save the rest of the movie. Maybe they just focus on being more like blockbustery, and then not about being not doing justice to the story. I guess. Oh, that's absolutely it. Did you ever see the last one? No, dude. I have to. I had to talk to myself into watching the the rest of part two. I had to have a pep talk because there is no like I don't know, like there's an, it's open to interpretation. The last the the ending. Did you do you remember seeing it, Frankie? The last one, one? The one that you're talking about? The one with the architect? No, no, no. The, the, the last, last one? one. The last one is um, Revolutions. I don't remember. Where he goes like blind or whatever. And... Yeah, that's Revolutions. Mm-hmm. I think I have that. Okay. But I don't remember it though. And, in the end, he when he does spoiler, uh, when the end... It's well, been quite a... Yeah, it's been a long time. It's <laughs> always... There might be people who haven't seen it. Oh, seen... It doesn't matter, no. <laughs> well, whatever. Spoiler. Mm-hmm. So he like... He gets like... He goes to the robot like city. Right, and they connect them, and they like, um, because like you remember that Agent Smith is going wild. He's like, like duplicating himself, mm-hmm. and he says that he Neil pretty much tells the people in the robot city, uh, "I can save you. I can save everyone." <laughs> what, what a beautiful song! By the way, that's uh, uh, what he's drinking is uh, the Guinness Nitro Drought. Sponsored style. by Guinness. Sponsored by Guinness. <laughs> Thank you, Guinness. Got us a check. <laughs> Drink yourself some Irish. There's three of us, not Chris. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm late. Has been kicked off the show. Cause he's never here. He's, he's been voted off the island. <laughs> he's been voted off the island. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Chris. But it's time for you to. Go. Yeah, I figured. You know, are we gonna babysit these beers or what? Because <laughs> you tell Chris, uh, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy. But um, the end, yeah, he just goes to Robot City. Mm-hmm. He he fights Agent Smith at the end, and then he disappears. And right. then and then the Oracle is in the end with the one of the oh, one of the you know the little girl who's a program mm-hmm. in the train station. He's like, and she asks uh, the Oracle, "Will we see Mio again?" And the skies are all like pretty, and she goes, "I have a good, I have a feeling that we will." So, my interpretation is that he was not the one, and mm-hmm. he was just part of the system of control. Okay. He's just the anomaly of the system control. Hmm. I don't really know what this means. I, I mean, I saw the first one, and I kind of forced myself to finish the second one. But I forgot most of the second one. Nothing. He's just um. He sits down with the architect, and the architect right. tells him that he that um he's just a part of a system of control. That there's been eight times he's been um, born eight times over. I remember that. Okay. And then it just turns out in the end that he is. Like that, and that's the way I see it. Because the Oracle says, Oh, he'll he'll be back. Didn't they make Neo like a Jesus type of character? I think I read something. Well, I mean the whole premise of the or, uh, of the one is to save all humanity. Right. So you can see, see how like you can tie it into whatever, but the the point is that I don't think he was. Like the Oracle tells him in the first one that he's not. Mm-hmm. And then they make it seem like they told him that so he can like unlock his potential. Interesting. 
meaning that the oracle is right. Exactly. But I don't know. Because you, you look above and the, there's like a hundred like, theories on what it could be. That's just what it seems to me. Roy Jones Jr. was in the second one, so... <laughs> He's a good boxer, so... Yeah, but... Not a good actor, though. He should have he should have fought all the Smiths instead of... <laughs> yeah, that was a missed opportunity, man. But, uh, what else? What other bad movies? I mean... Uh, for me? Do you have one yet? I can't think of one, bro. I'm gonna have to go with the Rambo movies. Rambo's good? And the thing mm. is, that I have a lot of people tell me that Rambo's are bad movies. Like, you and I respect Rambo, but I like all Rambo. I don't like them all. No, least, not all of them. You like least, the, the recent one? I like the my first. My favorite one is the recent one, but I love the first three parts. I like the first and the, and the second one. But I love the third part. Does it? The the one he goes to Afghanistan. That's yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't remember that one being all that good. Yeah, I, I like them all. All of them. Well, staying along the lines of uh, Sylvester Stallone, uh, I like Rocky Four, even though it's kind of bad. Rocky Four is the latest one, no? No, no, no. Uh, Rocky Force the one he fights the Russian, probably the most iconic one. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. When he fights that's Drago, that's Rocky IV. Rocky yeah. V is like the one that sucks that he fights. Uh, Tommy, the street fight, yeah, Tommy, the, Morrison, Tommy Morrison, Tommy Gunn in the movie. Yeah, Tommy Gunn. Okay, so... Probably Rocky IV, I enjoy but, that one. But you like it a lot? Not a lot, a lot. It's not... I it's mean, like, again, like Rocky, I like all the Rocky movies. I like all the Rocky movies. Well, uh, I mean, except for Five. Five was pretty bad. I like Rocky Balboa, the one he's old. Mm -hmm. Mostly because he loses at the end. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. That he lost because like he should. That's not part of the Rocky. Uh, Rocky Balboa. That's mm -hmm. what it's called. But there's also the Creed that came after. Oh, well, I've seen Creed before too. Creed's not a bad movie. No, it's pretty decent. Yeah. Favorite? Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite boxing movie of all time? Rocky One. Really? Yeah. Mine's gonna have to be Cinderella Man. Cinderella Man's good. That one's also good. That one's also. Good. Cinderella Man and then Southpaw. Never seen Southpaw. Great Jake Gyllenhaal movie. Love Jake Gyllenhaal. He's a Gyllenhaal asexual. Did you just assume <laughs> that I like Jake Gyllenhaal? Uh, well, considering that you told you us. <laughs> I think it's a fair assumption. <laughs> I guess we just won't take your word for it, I guess. And, uh, how do you feel about Brokeback Mountain? I've never, I've never seen, seen it. I've never seen it. You never seen it? I seen I seen like the the highlights, like the best part. The highlights. <laughs> the highlights. No, well, yeah. I, I didn't he, catch the game. I saw the highlights. Yeah, you remember when he saw like when he scored the he, he <laughs> cool. scored the touchdown? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the highlights of, like because there's there was a video on Watch Mojo. Watch Mojo mm -hmm. mm -hmm. calls us a check, and uh, <laughs> that um they just pretty much explained the whole movie. It seems okay. It seems like a, it's a good pretty story. decent movie. Yeah. You saw the whole thing. I did a long time ago. I don't remember most of it, but I, I went into it expecting it to be like kind of a gay porno type of thing. Like but, throughout the entire movie? Yeah. <laughs> like, like it was just going to be like, Jake Gyllenhaal Johnson. Yeah, like making out the whole movie. <laughs> but it's not like that. I mean, well, that's just the way they made people, like it shocked people like in, what, 2003, 2004, you know? Right. Something like that. Right? It's like, oh yeah, it's just a movie about, you know. It's like, about faggots. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, you know, can't have a good story. I don't know. I give it a chance, but I saw the, I saw pretty much the whole, what happens during the entire movie. You think what really what, what and you still haven't watched it? Because supposedly it doesn't bother you. What? Like ruining the plot for you? <laughs> no, it doesn't bother me. Uh, the reason I haven't seen Brokeback Mountain and that <laughs> sucks. I happened to turn. I saw the movie. Uh, I was scrolling through uh, back then. What was like TV guy? Yeah, I know that. I know scrolling down, I said, "Oh look, Brokeback Mountain." I've never seen this. Just watch this, and I happened to turn it in when uh, Heath Ledger was about to stick it in. Uh, yeah, he immediately turned it off. He's like, "No thanks." <laughs> you, you can't just walk into that, bro. You yeah, gotta you be eased into it. He eased into it. He's like, "Oh, what are you doing back there, boy?" <laughs> That, but that's like a moment where, where you're like, yep, this is exactly what I thought it was. Yeah, exactly <laughs> what I thought the movie was going to be. They're right. They're right. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. But it's, it's a really good movie, man. Uh, it's just, they're gay. No, he's. <laughs> don't fall for it. Don't grab it like that. Don't grab it. My um, but, knees buckling. But they, they, they're like ranchers or something. They go up to a mountain and they're gay. They have, or either they're gay or they have a gay experience. I'm pretty sure they're, they're gay though, but and they have to like deal with that. Isn't it the same thing? <laughs> well, I mean, you can have a gay experience but not be gay. Like a lot of the Boy Scouts, I heard that there's, there's a lot of uh, experimenting going around. You know what that makes you? You may not, you may not <laughs> classify yourself as such, but I mean, but if you, like, 
I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. It's you know, just, this doesn't apply to anyone. You know what's crazy but, is that that uh, the the whole double standard is yeah. I'm sorry, is he have to uh, clarify? Uh, is he's uh, this doesn't apply to any of us. Was the equivalence to saying no homo? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like people, like in the Boy Scouts, they might like experiment with their fellow Boy Scouts, and then they grow up to have, you know, normal, normal, yeah, relationships with women, and they get hard ons for, for women and stuff. And then they, you know, they they can't look at gay stuff anymore. Whoa. Think about the check this out. Here, like, so whatever happened to Chris? He's well, with the whole Boy Scout experience. The thing is, like, he was he was a Boy Scout, and they put the tip in, and he fell in love immediately. <laughs> he fell in love immediately, and uh, hasn't gone back. Is that why they call him Tipper Chris? Tipper. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, you can laugh. Come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And just like that, this show is dead. <laughs> <laughs> but the, 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 what we're talking about is the, the double standard. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, you, you guys don't have a problem with dating a woman who's bisexual, right? Uh, no. No. You wouldn't. Okay. But I've asked a girl, I've had, uh, I was dating some girl one time, and uh, she told me that she would have a problem dating uh, a guy who was a bisexual. Right. And, like, because I had the problem where I told her, like, I didn't like that she was bisexual. So I would, mm-hmm. I, I don't, like, you know. And then she said, well, I'm saying, well, what's the big deal about that? And I go, well, I'm like, would you date a man who was bisexual? And she goes, absolutely not. That's, that's gross. Like, you can't just, like... D- well, I mean, there are, you know... There are such things like system double standard, but... But there are the, the risk of STDs also. But she just thinks it's gross in the it's sense... The risk of it. STDs with straight couples. It's, well, yeah, but... I think it's just hypocrisy. It is hypocrisy. Of course it's hypocrisy. It's, it's all down to preference, really. I mean... Hey, uh, it is all preference, but what he's saying, what he's saying that she said is straight. Well, up she was calling you uh, gross or whatever for because you didn't like her because she was bisexual. No, she wasn't calling me gross. She was, she was calling the idea was gross. The idea right. that, that she would to date a man who's bisexual was gross. Right, though but, she was bisexual. But you said you said this started because she was bisexual and you didn't like that. I didn't like that. No. But then she she said that the opposite is also true. That no, but okay. she said no. She said that um, she. She doesn't understand why. Like, why would mm-hmm. I? Why would I do? Why would I think that? Not, well, why? Why wouldn't I like that? I didn't really get into much detail with it. I just said, "Well, would you date a man who was bisexual?" And she said, "No." She told that, that is a double standard. That's hypocrisy. That is hypocrisy. But she also she also made it the uh, like. What was the point she made? Oh, she she said that if you had a like a homosexual experience mm-hmm. and then you're no longer homosexual, that's fine. But now that you're both, right. She was also heavily Christian, which isn't, it's all hypocrisy. She's bisexual and heavily she, Christian. She is also Christian, yeah. Those two things aren't compatible. But people make the rules for themselves. 404, page not found. But, uh, it is what it is, man. But absolutely, people have gay experiences and are not gay. The thing like is, you if you have... have peanut butter in your dog? We don't like to talk about that. <laughs> I went through a lot of through a lot of therapy for that. That was a joke. None of us have ever. He just kept biting me. I figured if I put peanut, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Frankie one time uh, he hit uh, he uh, heated up uh, a grapefruit in the uh, microwave and poke a hole in it. So it seems almost the same thing. Is it as good as they say? Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. Do you eat it after? Mm. And- what do you mean? I like, know, I only I, I put the uh, the grapefruit in the microwave, pulled it out, cut a hole in it, and then I started eating. No, no, but let, let's be honest here. What we're talking about is you put it in the microwave, you cut a hole in it, then you fuck it, and then you eat it, or you uh-huh. just throw it away. No, I just those I just throw away. The ones that I heat up to eat, I just eat. You know, I find that the the fruit is more tender. I like how that. Fuck I, it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's where he draws the line, though. Do you hear him? He goes, "Me eat it." <laughs> I cut it up and serve it to other people. <laughs> Me eat it. That's disgusting. <laughs> Don't come around. What an asshole. Don't come around like gay shit, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Don't come out of my house asking for fruit. <laughs> Watermelon, strawberries, all. It don't matter. <laughs> See his wife come with a basket for the fruit. He goes, fresh fruit, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> so that explains why when we go to the house, we only see like half a watermelon, yeah. <laughs> half a cantaloupe. <laughs> a 
Alpha banana. <laughs> Alpha ba- wow, banana. <laughs> it's just a banana beer. Yes, it's just a banana beer. <laughs> no, but I don't need it. No, but I don't need it. Eat it. You have a problem with that gay shit, boy. <laughs> but would it be gay if you eat it yourself? What? After you fuck it? Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. Hey, buddy, that's why I draw the line. That's why I draw the line, pal. I'm a religious man. <laughs> I'm a good old Catholic man. Jesus, man. <laughs> you, honestly, people people do that. Like religious people do like to fuck things like that instead of like having sex with people before marriage and stuff. Yeah, people like, fuck goats and chickens and stuff. Not talking about that. <laughs> not talking. About, all right, keeping it, keeping it strictly fruit. Okay. Keeping it strictly. What's your favorite line, bro? What's your favorite fruit to fuck? Oh my god, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pass on the whole fruit topic already. Okay, okay. What's your fro? Uh, let's go back to the movie thing, man. <laughs> oh right, <laughs> <laughs> movies are so good. Yeah, we don't like to fuck fruits. Uh, that was just a joke. Do you have do you have Rocky Four? <clears throat> that's oh, your that's problem. Right. You chose Rocky. That's right. Yeah. Right. I chose Rambo, and you chose. What did I say? I Major, said, right? No, no, John Wick. John Wick. Uh-huh. One or two. Both of them. Oh, you can't do the whole series. I'm sorry. No, I can do one or two <laughs> because they're they're two pretty good. Um, how about this? Uh, what's another one? What's another one? This is a very uh, difficult thing that you've. Uh, You've given us here. No, because usually we do have strong opinions. Like, how about this? How about just bad movies in general? Mm-hmm. Like, worst movies you've ever seen? My chanty, hands down. Hands down. You always say there. my chanty. That's up there. Yeah, it's, it, come on, dude. Wait, you have uh, Danny Trejo. Right? Anything starring da- Danny Trejo. Well, how about, how about, some, have, how about a movie that tries to be serious? Just listen. You have Danny Trejo's with two butter knives at the end of a bucket with a, at the end of a chain swinging it around <laughs> and killing people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. But the movie just, does that movie try to be serious? Yeah. I no, so. I don't think so. I don't think that movie's made with like, all right, this yeah, is this is gonna this, win an Oscar. This is this is <laughs> this is a, Oscar material. This is a compelling piece. This is drama <laughs> right here. This is, is it, at its essence yeah. drama. The director at the end was so satisfied. Okay. He's like, that's my best work. Damn, what's the name of that movie? You remember that movie that I told you? Because this thing is always praised. You guys keep talking about this. I'm gonna get Jamie. Jamie, that. <laughs> what, what movie? Who's the lady? Meryl Streep? Yes. Meryl Streep has really? a bunch of movies, bro. She has a lot, a lot of good movies. What do they say about Meryl Streep, though? That you said people say about her. They, they say that she's a great actor. She's a like phenomenal mm-hmm. she's actor. Good. And then she has a movie that I was actually talking to Frank about that I saw it and I was like, oh my God, who made this movie? Is it the witch movie? No. No. It's movie straight garbage. <laughs> it looks like garbage. <laughs> you know, another movie um, or a couple of movies... That are probably not that good, but I still kind of enjoy. Uh, Ocean's 12 and 13. Oh, I love those movies. But those movies are good. Yeah, but not as good as Ocean's 11. Oh. Not a lot of movies ever. It's rare to see a. Like, the only the only instance where you, like, the sequel is better is like The Godfather 2. Or Star Wars. Like, Superhero movies. Well, the Star yeah. Wars. You, don't, you, you like the second one the best, right? Uh, Well, second one chronology, uh, chronology, blah, blah, chronologically, but the episode 5, yeah. It was better than episode four. Better than episode four? Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, it's very rare that sequels are better. Or for that matter, prequels are being better. Or being good. Did you see the Hobbits? The Hobbit movies? No, man. The Hobbit movies destroy Lord of the Rings. And I, 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 like, I like the Hobbits more than the Lord of the Rings. You know, me, but me and Frank have always been like that. Everybody seems to have a different opinion on that. But yeah, I've heard a lot of bad things about the Hobbit. They're not, it's not bad. Right, Frankie? It's not bad. Man, all of them are great. The only complaint I have about, about the Hobbit, spoiler alert, um, is that you never see Smog's car. Um, no, no, and no, I still do it Smog. It's the like, what part is it? The second part. The second. The one. second part leads up that Smog is a badass, and he is by Benedict Cumberbatch, and it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Smog is like my favorite character in the entire movie. Mm-hmm. Like fuck Bilbo Baggins. It's it's, it's all about <laughs> Smog, and then. You get into the third part and you think it's going to be like this mad because the way well, part two ends is um, leaving off the dragons about to go fly into a city and destroy a city. So you think shit's about to get fucked up. Like, you know, we wait an entire year for this. Come December again. I'm ready for Smog to like, you know, light shit up. Smog gets shot down by an arrow. 
and dies. And but dies. It, it's not only that. But it it it, he, it was he dies like, right away. Exactly. It was like it, you didn't give me at least thirty minutes of this. It was like this happened within like five right in minutes. the beginning. Right in the beginning. Oh, who, who kills him? Legolas or whatever. Or he's, not, he's not in the Hobbit, is he? Yeah, he's, he is in the Hobbit. No, but who, who kills him is um is Bart. 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 That's his name. I don't actually know all the characters. Well, whatever. He's he's like a, a descendant from the original um person who had the black arrow. Mm-hmm. Who uh, he shot um smog and he left a wound on him. Is there anything that can kill a dragon? Not related right. to Green Arrow, right? <laughs> what, what? 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 That's a that's a film theory right Fan there, theory boy. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> just, this just in the Hobbit and the DC universe are the same thing. <laughs> but yeah, please, Bart. Uh-huh. What's that guy's name? Uh, Bart Simpson. I'm just uh, shooting out ideas. But yeah, so that's what he did to us. And then other things okay. happen. I understand it's part of the book. Um, I understand. Oh, it's played by Luke Evans. I just know you like these movies a lot, and that's why I always give you like gifts related. So you to gave me the, the Hobbit. You gave me the Hobbit, and you gave me the, all the Lord of the Rings and all and the, the Hobbit. Hobbit. And, and the, the book. Yeah. I gave you the, the book. They're phenomenal, but like that's my only complaint about that movie. It's like you killed Smog off so fast. Okay. It's like you ever seen uh, Three Ten to Yuma? No, I heard it's good though. That is a fantastic. I don't want. Do I tell you? Because I have a good like analogy for it. Like, okay. Well, it's just that there's this guy named. No, you're gonna ruin the movie. You know, you're right. I can't do it. It's a good movie. Okay. Go ahead. And you can go ahead and ruin it for other people listening to the show. Yeah, go ahead. What are you gonna do? You're gonna close, here's you close your ears. <laughs> la 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 la. la. <laughs> go, go ahead. Well, whatever. This is guy Charlie, mm-hmm. which is Russell Crowe's like uh, second hand man. Second okay. hand? No, that's what would you say? Right hand man. Right hand. Right hand man. Right hand man. So, and then he goes through absolute hell. He's a badass. He goes through hell through his entire movie. He doesn't die bad. It's just the way that he did it. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, I think, th- like, Smog deserved better. It's all Smog deserved, like, Charlie. But, mm. like, a better death. He did a bunch of stuff before Charlie died. Okay. Back to the Meryl Street movie. Okay. Um, the movie's called Ricky and the Flash. Mm-hmm. If that movie ever comes on the TV for you, do yourself a favor. Just turn it down. <laughs> turn the TV off and just sit there and meditate. Yeah, don't 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 watch it. <laughs> don't, please don't. I Sounds sat like there. A... I, I watched this entire movie for some reason. I didn't even like. It never dawned upon me to change the channel. I just <laughs> sat there and watched. You were movie. in a trance. Just it was, it was complete. What's it called? Rich. Ricky and the Flash. Sounds like Benny and the Jets. The Elton John song. Is it related? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so okay, well, what's the movie about? So the movie's about um this mom, Meryl Streep, who's like in the movie. I think she's still like ninety something, and <laughs> <laughs> she's part of a rock band. She's part of a rock band, and she's trying to become very famous, being a rock star, but it's not going the way she thought it was gonna be for the rest of her life. So she only plays at bars. And she ended up leaving her family for this uh, goal in life. And she has three kids. Um, and then one of them, which is the daughter, ends up uh, trying to kill herself because her man was cheating on her. So then she goes and flies out to where she's at and with the fam- and stays there with the family, uh, with the, her daughter and her ex-husband and his new wife. And she tries to get her in a bit, uh, better mood. And it all ends up being like, you know, like, Mom becomes like the coolest person ever because she plays at a wedding for them. Okay. Is this supposed to be a comedy though? Or? It's a comedy, like a sad comedy type thing. And okay. it, the, you know, yeah, it's like a, a comedy, comedy drama, drama music. It's, it, <laughs> it's what it's listed as an IMDb. And don't just don't do it to yourself. Look, how about this? IMDb gave it a six out of a 10. And I think they just gave her the, they gave it that because it's Meryl Street. Oh. This movie deserved a three. A two. <laughs> a three or a two. Not bad, huh? It sucks. If we're if we're talking about movies that were intended to be good, right? And this bad. movie was garbage. Okay. What's another movie you think that was intended to be good, but it it just failed? The Room. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I can't wait to watch the Disaster Artist. Yeah. Intended to be good. You think Tommy Wiseau like looked at the finished product and, how and about was the, like, how about the Star Wars prequels? I don't well, know. Intended to be, well, they tend to be so super serious. I don't know if they were intended to be. 
it's not, I think George yeah. Lucas was more wrapped up in creating, like, building the universe than, than anything else. I mean, it, you get the feeling these are supposed to be kids' movies when you watch them. The first one, yes. Not the other one. But ones. there's no personality, there's no identity amongst any of the characters. No, of, of course but, not. But, but, but that's what he was trying to do, right? Like, this whole, like, like, oh, everybody has to be serious, no emotions. Because that's what the Jedi is, right? The, yeah. The, right, so that's why I think this it was intended to be that way, so, like, wow, this movie's really serious, and the whole thing is about the Senate, and it's very political, right. so. Oh, yeah. I can sit through the movie, like, it's fine, but it's I like, can sit through the movies, and I, like, I, I can't, I, I, I wouldn't say they're for bad. Do you think they're, do you think they're good? And they're, they're not great movies, because, like, you know, when you watch a movie back then, and you rewatch it now, and you tell yourself, holy fuck shit. <laughs> like yeah. watching Daredevil. You like Daredevil? I loved Daredevil when it first came out. I watched Daredevil now and I want to cry. <laughs> you know what movie's like that for me? Hellboy? Hellboy? Uh, Hellboy's dude. okay. Hellboy's so good for me. Like, I don't think they take, some sort, they take themselves that serious. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen it recently, but I'm pretty sure I, would, I wouldn't like it. No, you would. I, I, I think I watch it every once in a while. I still don't effects that it comes out. And... I like it. Oh, they like to put them in that person. Van Helsing also. Van Helsing went. Van Helsing with uh, Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Yeah, man. When that movie came out, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I wanted to be him. Yeah. And then I watched it recently, and I was like, oh. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I used to love that movie as a kid, bro. I would lose my shit every time it came on TV. Mm-hmm. Cause he's what? He's a he's like a vampire hunter or something. Yeah, he's a he's like a he's not a vampire. I think he's more like a. Yeah, is a vampire or does he do everything? I think he does everything because yeah, they, they were like werewolves or something in that movie. Or? He turned into a werewolf. Okay. okay. But no, yeah, but he fights um, giants, Frankenstein, everybody. Right, right. So it's like he, he's just a monster hunter. Right. All right. Hizzy, how about Righteous Kill? <laughs> and all, like, you know, with all respects to obviously Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, but we take, take our hat off for, uh, for those guys. But... Well, um, apart from Robert De Niro, who takes every single movie seriously. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if Al Pacino took that movie seriously. Because he was just so he was so bad in it. How could that? How is that the same person that did Godfather and that did Scarface? You know what I mean? That's another movie, by the way. Um, Scarface? Yeah, Scarface. Uh, there was some girl in high school once that told me that it's the worst movie she's ever seen. I wanted to slap her in the mouth. You know, when that movie came out, it wasn't well-received at all. People hated it. Got a raspberry. A golden raspberry, yeah. a Razzie. A Razzie. Yeah. For for worst actor and worst picture, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, I did. You didn't like that movie until way later. It's ridiculous. Yeah. That girl tried telling me, sitting there, telling me that it was terrible acting. Well, you can't tell. A lot of, it doesn't appeal to women. Like, like they treat women bad in the movie. They mm-hmm. do they, they do violent things. It doesn't really appeal to me. Like, do it doesn't ha- it doesn't have romanticism. You know it's what I'm saying? Them, they treat her well. They treat all women well. You like kids? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kids? You like kids, huh? Like this. I wonder if they can see us too, though. For the most part, I don't think women are interested in movies unless no, no, no. there's no, a romantic part. You offer them ice cream. <laughs> you like ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, for the, for the most part, I don't think women are interested in movies unless there's a romance going on. No, no, no. It, it has to be romantic in the sense. Like, romantic in the sense it has to have that mysterious... Like, well, of course. Romantic in the traditional sense. Like, women have to like uh, Tony Montana. Exactly. Women are not going to like Tony Montana. No, <laughs> no, no. Or was, Manolo, or, or Manolo. Yeah, because they, they, what are they? They're like these. Uh, yeah, they're they're, they're, <laughs> they're, uh, they're they're Cuban underworld, like you know, yeah. and they treat women like like women, like how men treated women back, back in the day, and they snort coke and do stuff. Like, no, and they kill people. And and they kill people, and mm-hmm. it doesn't appeal to women. Well, I mean, they did. They do have a love story there, but not a, a great one. I have a good question for you. It doesn't appeal to women that like movies, because I'm sure people, women that are movie enthusiasts, as we are. Mm-hmm. Will like. I'm sure. Face. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Probably. I mean, I, I think they still look for different things, though. I guess. I have a cool question for you guys. Since you guys obviously know that Al Pacino only has one Oscar mm-hmm. for Sensible Woman, mm-hmm. I think he deserves it for that movie. I think he was overdue. I think he was overdue because he, he, he deserved it for other movies as well. But I do think he deserves it for that movie. Do you guys think so or not? I think that Denzel Washington deserved it for Malcolm X over. Over him? Over Al Pacino for Central. I mean, you mentioned Al Pacino. That's not the first movie that comes to mind. Right, no, no but okay. Absolutely. But I'm, I'm talking about like him in, in that movie, though. Just forget, forget about the, the run that year. It was a good year, but... It was a good... Well, the thing is, when, when you say it like that, everyone that gets nominated for an Oscar deserves one. I mean, but they come no, with one winner. So. I don't think so. For the, for the most part. For the most part. But 
I think Denzel Washington deserved it more for that movie. Okay, but compared to other to, to Al Pacino movies, like like I've heard that he did not do a great performance in that movie. How can that not do? How can that not do? So, like, have you seen it? No, I have not seen it. Frankie, you saw it, obviously. I've seen a uh, piece of it. I haven't seen it completely. And, um, yeah, it's a great movie, but I, like Kenzie said, there are much other movies that pop out to me before Sense of a Woman. Right. Like, I don't... I, he was overdue. I think that, that had a, a lot to do with it. Of course, that's exactly like, uh... Like Leo. Like Leo. It, the Reverend there was amazing, but the person who should have got an Oscar there was, uh... Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Mm. Like, that guy was a savage in the movie. Like, best supporting actor. Yeah, but it, he didn't win though. So, so best supporting actor. No, he didn't. Uh, who got it over him was who did a good over him. I didn't think it was right. I was I was definitely rooting for Tom Hardy, but I remember someone else got it. Yeah, no, he definitely deserved it. Absolutely. But uh, what year was that? Twenty sixteen. Twenty fifteen, maybe. Maybe. So long. Ago. It's unbelievable. I feel like that movie came out yesterday. Yeah. But, so you think um, you, you think um but you, but you, why didn't yeah, you have seen how I've seen I've seen the woman though? I've seen most of uh, like the the good parts, the highlights. It was okay. twenty sixteen and who won it was um Mark Rylance for Bridges uh Bridge of Spice. Mm. Yeah, I remember it was for a dumb movie. I mean Bridge of Spice with with, with Tom Hanks, right? Mm-hmm. Over, I mean, Tom Hardy's Tom Hardy, too. You know. But all right. How do you feel about Tom Hardy being casted as Ben? So you think that Mal- you think Malcolm X was good? You think he did a great job, Malcolm X? Yeah, I think so. I have to see Malcolm X in there. It's a good movie. But uh, I mean, he was great in it, man. I mean, um, Al Pacino definitely deserves <laughs> an Oscar for other things. I, it, I mean, I've seen people criticize Al Pacino for uh, The Godfather, that he was uh, too wooden in in the in that movie. That he okay. didn't he didn't emote. He was just like a. You well, know that what I mean? was his character. He what he didn't emote. Well, yeah, behind he did. Behind closed doors, he was right because he just put it on his mask when he ever had to do business. Exactly. Right? That, that's what, the way I always seen it. I thought he did great in those movies. I thought he definitely deserved one for part two. But people, uh, whatever. I mean, he des- he definitely deserved it for part two. What year did Sensible Woman? 1992. Listen, he deserved it for, for what I've seen. He definitely deserved it for Sensible Woman. He definitely deserved it for, for Serpico. He definitely deserved it for... Um, the Godfather. The, the, both of the Godfathers. The only two Godfathers. The only two Godfathers. He deserved it for the Godfather. Look, I'm looking at the list now. Deserved it for the Godfather. Deserved it for... He could have gotten one of Donnie Brasco was supporting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, okay. But, like, Serpico, he did a... Great job in Serpico. I have to see Serpico. Is it good? I like I like Serpico. I like Dog Day Afternoon a lot too. I have to see that one. And he does a good, he does a great performance. He's a leading. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a leading actor. He's de- he definitely does a good performance. A uh, good job. That's a good. Performance. Have you seen the Deer Hunter? No. Well, Deer Hunter is a crazy movie. That movie is like you think you thought like uh, like Apocalypse Now was like psychological. Well, this is like twice. That can't be. Yeah, check it out then. You have to figure it out. Take it, take my word for it. You 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 know what I'm talking about. But the thing about, about Apocalypse Now is that it's entirely psychological. Like the whole movie is psychological. You gotta check out the Deer Hunter, man. You you'll be you you'll be satisfied. You'll be like, well, all right. I see what you're saying. Maybe you won't like it as much as Apocalypse Now because you know, have any of you guys because of the know? doors and uh, there's a lot of things too. Apocalypse Now, but I think the mm-hmm. Deer Hunter is crazy shit. Have any of you guys seen uh, him in the movie? Uh, do you know Jack? No, he uh, no. Uh, Jack of Working. Yeah. No, I haven't seen it. I want to watch it. Is that a movie or is Dr. it like Death. a mini series? No, it's, it's a movie. movie. It's a movie. Definitely deserved it for uh, Scarface. Yeah, did amazing Scarface. You gotta go from like this guy went from like where he's. Like, he pulled a Cuban off. Like, that guy mm-hmm. doesn't get any more Cuban than Al Pacino. Definitely, definitely a uh, method, uh, definitely a method actor. They, they, he, the entire movie, they had to speak to him in Spanish. They, mm-hmm. they, he asked this entire staff to speak to him in Spanish. Oh. Yeah. The great ones are always method actors. He was a great one. Uh, he was great in um, The Devil's Advocate. At The Devil, yeah. He was good. Well, we better to play The Devil than Al Pacino. Yeah. He was uh, absolutely fantastic in Righteous Kill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, that guy's lost his mind. But the, he, he was has... also in that Adam Sandler movie, Jack and Jill. Yeah. Oh, he's in love with. Yeah. <laughs> Would he bring his that, Oscar? But that, yeah. Look, that, that movie right there is a movie that's meant to be bad. Oh yeah. He know like, he was acting like garbage. I mean, most Adam Sandler movies are just meant to be bad. That or he's like he wants all his buddies like to. Adam Sandler movies. Like, yeah. Oh, not the recent ones. Not the, no, because he's lost his edge. But like not the recent ones, the, his early ones, like. You know how many times we, uh, the water bowl, you know how many times, remember when we got it with that oh, shit that exactly, one time? We could just say, yeah, that's prime Sandra, I love though. Vicky, yeah, and she loves me back. <laughs> <laughs> well, she dude. showed me her boobs, and I like them too. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one with uh, Kevin Jane, Chris Rock? Um, what, what, the Selma grown-ups? Hayek. Is, is it Grown Ups? I think it's Grown Ups, Grown Ups. Right, Grown Ups 1, and he had a second like part too. Yeah, Grown Ups 1 and 2. But that's like that's just Adam Sandler just packing it in. He wants him and his buddies to collect a nice little paycheck. Like they're not trying. You know what I mean? It was just, a, not. It was just a movie to make jokes. I make money. And then there's the the ridiculous six, which I've never seen. That looks so dumb. Like what's that guy I don't like? I don't like him in any movie whatsoever. Chris Pratt? No man. Not gonna be Chris Pratt, bro. Um, what was this guy? Like, he did the the Twilight movies. Oh, um, he was the main guy in the Twilight. No, no, not the main guy. Oh, he was the werewolf guy. The werewolf guy. Dude, I don't remember his. Is name. he in Grownups? He's in no. He's in the Ridiculous Six. Oh, sorry. He was uh, Jacob in the in, in Twilight. Is that his name? I don't know. I don't know. I never seen these movies, but I know. I know. You don't remember the Team Edward, Team Jacob thing? Yeah. Oh, is that what that is? That's the only thing I know about the Twilight. Movies. Uh, you talking about Taylor Lautner? Taylor Lautner. When he took out that uh. He took out a, like a movie where he's supposed to be a badass. He goes, "Don't worry, I'll find him." <laughs> that, uh, spy movie too, yeah, whatever. But like, no, I don't like him. I don't like him in, in any movies. So you didn't fangirl for him in uh, Twilight? The yeah. movie's called Abduction, by the way. Don't you talking about? Yeah, but he took his shirt off in Twilight. Oh yeah, points for him. Points for him. I, I never, hey, I never said he had a night. You know, I never said he had a bad bod, man. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't hey. made any more movies. Nice bod, bro. <laughs> Where'd you go? I don't know. We're gonna have to go check on Looper why he hasn't been on more movies. Looper. Looper. Oh, the, the YouTube channel. Yeah. Got us a check. But the, yeah, he's check. <laughs> <laughs> there. Got us a check. Thought we were talking about the movie. Uh, Looper, tough fives. Uh, uh, <laughs> watch Mojo. You guys top all, fifteen. All, you, you all. Owe chilling us. is Dylan. <laughs> Dylan is chilling. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dylan is chilling. Come with us. We will I have somebody here who will love to interview. <laughs> by the name of Frankie. He will love to interview. What if this actually gets out to him and he's so stoked? To... I'll, I'll, yes, I'll have him here. You know right, bro. <laughs> I'd love to have <laughs> Dylan over here. He's and I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll be the the moderator. Just you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> you know? Frankie loves him. He loves him. Yeah, my face. <laughs> You like him? Tell me how much you like him, Frankie. No. <laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> We're gonna get sued now. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, buddy, my voice is copyrighted. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm sure that guy's a super cool guy. No, he just, probably he is. is. No, it doesn't take away from him. I'm just saying, it sounds like a different. He did some. He did a video with uh, Rob Dyke. Okay. Cut us a check. You know who Rob Dyke? No. He, he also does like countdowns. <laughs> you all sound like Chris right now. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Everything Chris. Oh my god, you don't even pay me. <laughs> yeah. That guy, you don't even get out of here, bro. Oh, you know, uh, me and Hizzy were talking about, you think that he does that voice on purpose or you think that's how he talks? What? Dylan. Dylan. Dylan? Charles? Um, maybe it's just the way he reads. I think that's the way he talks. Dude, and there then, is no way people talk like that. No, there is ways. Oh, yeah, Not sorry. naturally, bro. I think so, bro. I think he talks like that. Mom, go get me a hot pocket. No, yeah, people don't it. talk like that, kid. <laughs> <laughs> bro, if you, I met this girl, if you, and I'm gonna fuck her tonight. If you're, <laughs> no. if, if you were, you like it? Do you? <laughs> if you, if you're a Norwegian. Oh, oh. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you were Norwegian, right, and you spoke like English, like from like you know, like European English. And that's all you heard, and you come here to the south, and you hear some guy, Oh, boy, thank you, that. What are you doing over there? You'd be like, well, people don't talk like that. He's, forever, like, he's from somewhere <laughs> that people talk like that, dude. He's just like one of these... Dude, Dylan is American, I'm pretty sure. He's American, but he's from a different part of the U.S. Where he's from the he's stupid from part. Huh? He's American? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he's American dude. or Canadian. Oh, he's Canadian. Oh, it could be Canadian. No, he's no, he is Canadian. He is Canadian. Oh, is he? Yeah, he is Canadian. People in Canada don't talk like that. No, absolutely not. <laughs> you have not. living example, Susie. Yeah. Okay, but he's from one part of Canada. He's from the dumb part. No man, <laughs> I was in Canada, man. The most thing you get in Canada is like a boot. People making jokes Canada's, about people. Canada is a big place, bro. I know it is. But yeah. not a lot, it's a big place, but not everybody lives in all yeah. of Canada. It's very. Um, there are very certain spots of Canada. Canada. I'm sure people in Vancouver don't talk the same uh, the same yeah. way. Yeah, people Listen, like in you, Toronto. But do you know what they have in common? They don't talk like Dylan. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> they don't talk like chills. You been to Canada? <laughs> Never been. I've been to Canada, and nobody in Canada talks. Hey guys, <laughs> so well, are we gonna go watch the Toronto whatever team play? The Toronto Raptors play. <laughs> Do you get down with your woes? <laughs> <laughs> Straight from the six. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, he has to make that voice up. Bro. It either makes it up like that, or he, or he's just used to reading like that. Because yeah. maybe he's everything he does is scripted, so he just reads in that tone. Yeah. Like Barack Obama. Barack Obama can't speak without his um, teleprompter, right. whatever they're called. If when he does, is when you notice that he has his stutter or his. Right, that pause, that that Obama pause. Yeah, like if he's not speaking with his products, like it, it, that's the way it sounds. It's just it's, but, a, it's a way learn people get taught to read. But what I was telling Frank is that he he does like a voice, like a broadcast type of voice, like the way newscasters do it, like people on the news that's talk. Newscaster voice. I guess that's his interpretation. Maybe or his uh, Maybe. his try. Hey, listen, how about this? Dylan's chilling. He's chilling, bro. 1281 West 29th Street. Hit us up. <laughs> I didn't drop a zip code, so they won't, you know, they're going to have to search up multiple 1281 West 29th Streets. They're um, going to have to guess. Yeah. But, um, hit us up. You know, we're on YouTube. We're on Instagram at Coast Yolo. You're still Coast Yolo, right? Oh, yeah, no, you're Coast to Coast. Uh, coast to coast, coast. He's Coast to Coast. Hit me up at Bampane Frankie. Champ- like, Champagne Frankie, but would it be? Or you can hit up Pizzy. Hit us all up whenever you want. We'll sit you down boy. with us. Pizzy Hot Boy. And we'll, we'll come down to like we'll get it figured out. We we'll get it popping, kid. <laughs> we'll get it popping out here. Maybe you give us some pointers on how to grow this podcast. But we just want to know. You Is can tell us how real? to talk, bro. <laughs> you know, but I got a good impersonation of you down pat. <laughs> <laughs> if I do say so myself. Yeah, but we we agree then that he, there's, he doesn't talk like that. I don't know. Maybe I, I can't give a yes. I mean, but come on, what are the odds, bro? No, but I, there's so many people with different like that. accents I mean, and stuff. Like, like that. Yeah, because you could be born with like I don't want to tell him that he has a speech impediment or something, like that, but you could be born with that, or you learn to talk at a later time, or like it's just it's too many factors into it. I don't know, man. I, th- I think he just makes it up. I think if you sit him down and you talk about like what maple syrup, hmm? what does he do? Uh, what what uh, what's his show on YouTube? Top Chills 15? and top fifteen. He's top fifteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the people who don't know who we're talking about, Dylan said it. Go watch, go check out a couple of top fifteen videos. Yo, so he has his own channel though, because top fifteen is they have sometimes a, like a different narrator. What's his channel? You know, chills. Uh, oh, he's chills. He's chills. Is yeah. it chills? The other guy? No, no. You're probably thinking the top five. Yeah, no. Isn't I thought the chills was top fives. No, no. no. Wait, does he talk like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, chills is absolutely Dylan. That's where the chilling comes. No, what from. I'm saying, I thought chills. Like, no, no, chills no, no, top no, no. He doesn't have his no, drop no. his name oh, right oh, now. Okay, hey, I'm sorry. Top five. He, he's here. just tops. Yeah, yeah, oh, I like to thank the top, top, top five for publishing our, our story. Oh, absolutely. I can't believe we didn't. Yeah, you guys should go check that out, too. We didn't even think about that. Go ahead, Frank. Tell them. But the whole story? No. <laughs> no we Listen, the whole story is a podcast in and of itself. Right. Okay, but tell them uh, about top five. about the story. That we, oh, well, we, so we, we, we submitted our, 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 our paintball story. Our paranormal paintball story. Our, our paranormal paintball story to, to our top fives, and he's very he nice guy. It. Very nice guy. Very, uh, very professional guy and very polite. He, um, he just asked a few questions and he published it on, uh, on our page. He puts the pictures up there too. Yeah. Do you have his website? Do you remember his website? We'll, we'll, we'll put it in the, de- uh, in the description. Yeah, it's sure. top, uh, top5s.uk. We'll drop it in UK. The, yeah, we'll drop it in the link so you guys can read it. Absolutely. Read our story. Get to know us more. Subscribe to his YouTube channel, man. He's a great guy. He's, he's a fantastic guy. I love Bob. Uh, hey. Listen, every time he drops a video or publishes a video, I lose my shit. I have to like stop what I'm doing. I have to see it. Of course. Yeah. Did you see that recent one where they took an hour long? Took an hour long video. Jeez. Well, he does documentaries and well, stuff. Well, his thing was like a scenario. He he made the whole story up about like um about a nuclear war between Korea. Oh, like what would happen? Yeah, he made he did the whole thing. It was great. It was good. And I like to say I've is been. It his take? 
like, yeah, like what what he would. It, it, yes. Is take on it or like what does he back it up like? Uh, he kind of like does it like do you remember like World War, War of the Worlds, <laughs> where like okay. like you've heard about that like the Orson Welles did the whole broadcast like if it was real right on the radio and right. everybody so lost did, their mind. So he did something similar and what he did was he just started like okay this would happen this would happen. this is like a series of events what would happen mm-hmm. right uh, this many people died and um, there's an intervention by China and then Russia they get all involved like no more nuclear strikes and this and that and they mention everybody by name and it's pretty good it's pretty detailed. Definitely gotta check it out. I haven't been able to. I haven't seen it. Yet. He had a video that I saw like today, uh, right before we got here. It was a. Uh, I don't know if you remember. Uh, the Discovery Channel had like a series about it, like uh, what would happen if people like disappear or whatever. Like if everyone oh, yeah. dies. Mm-hmm. And he, this one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's right. really good. And he had the. It's pretty good. Yeah, uh, it was an amazing video. Yeah, he said that. Uh, I think ten thousand years and. Oh, explain the video then, because when I said you brought this up, it's like you told me. It's a. Like, what would happen if everybody dies or just, like, disappears at this very moment? You know, they took out a TV show on that, right? Like, yeah. Like, a miniseries on that. Yeah, I saw it as a kid. He used some pictures from that. Yeah, like, I, and I don't remember the name of the TV series, but I thought it was, like, very... After cool. People, I think it was. Was it? I think so. Something yeah. like and that. Everybody was just, like, very... Everybody that did stay behind and got, was, like, that was left behind were very cold. And, like, they didn't know how to... Oh, you're talking about, like, a fictional TV show type of thing? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, think, I'm thinking of the Discovery Channel one. No, no, no. They took out a, t- a fictional TV show or something like this. And okay. it was like um, it just people like this is like look, they disappeared and then like this the dogs went crazy all the dogs mm. went crazy okay like and they all went sad like wild like savage no they have to yeah they all went savage and wild and no one likes to associate like no one like you're not supposed to like touch dogs anymore or not mm. and it's just like everybody's like different it, it, obviously you will be like imagine like. You have your entire family and your family just disappears. Right. And then it's only left you. You know, there's like, a problem. Your sanity will be like. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, of course, you go crazy. You know, there's a problem in certain parts of the US where dogs go feral. I don't know if you've ever seen that. And what you do is like, by generation, do like generation, like, this is just straight dogs. And they go and they, they just, <laughs> um, they, they like, in a, uh, and for lack of better words, like, they have a community of dogs. Right. And they, they just go out there to get food and they hunt animals or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Like, like what happens is it's very crazy. They don't even know how long these dogs have been there out there, like straight. Mm-hmm. And like through generation, generation, they all just started looking the same. Right. And they all, they all like got black fur, and they all look the same and whatever. And that's all they do. That's like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> like the chupacabra dog. The chupacabra dog. Well, the chupacabra is supposed to be a, a rabid coyote, isn't it? No, 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 no. He's thinking about something else. He's thinking about something else. <laughs> okay. He's thinking. He's thinking about. I showed him this dog, and I'm like, oh, like, it's a. It's a lady found a weird looking dog. Oh. Okay. okay hold on. Wait. 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 Hold on. It's a weird looking dog. <laughs> Frankie's right? dying to get in this. Yeah. Wait. 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 <laughs> Give me a second, Frankie. And whatever. So we're gonna post a uh, link to that picture too, so you guys can see that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's right. And, I want your take on this because I'm about to get down on this. And people were like, people were looking for this dog. Like people have seen this dog before, and they're trying to like see what it is. And the lady didn't like. The lady just took pictures of it, and then because she thought it was weird, and just yeah, do really let it like trash. And the scientists been looking for this dog. Oh like, really? Yeah, they wanted to see what the what it is the dog. What's the anatomy of the dog? And it's a it's a really weird looking dog. It's like I forgot the name of it. <laughs> and Frankie just says, it. and I said like, you know, this lady just left it there. And Frankie Frankie said. Frank, that's just an ugly dog. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Look at the when we put the picture. I want everybody as many. Tell me smart. if that looks like a regular dog too. Bro, it's just an ugly goddamn dog. It's a motherfucking mutt. It's ugly, and that's all it is. It's just it looks like. Look it up. Look it up on your computer. Look it up, Jimmy. I got this. I, I got it. I got it. I'm putting it up. It's not connected to the internet. Though. What's the name of the dog? It's look up crypto dog. How about that? Oh, super crypto. <laughs> <laughs> We'll uh, probably put it up uh, on the video itself, mm-hmm. like the picture. Mm-hmm. So people can, uh, yeah. people can yeah, check so, it out. Oh, yeah, Superman's dog's coming up. Uh, <laughs> but Monster Dog? Like Crypto Monster Dog? Like Crypto, with, like, not okay. Just with a C. Gigantopithecus. Gigantopithecus. <laughs> In dog form. <laughs> a huge monkey, but he's also a dog. <laughs> I can see why scientists would want to track him down. Gigantopithecus, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gigantopithecus hound. <laughs> okay, so uh, I can't find the picture right oh. now. We'll look for it. The dog is Let me see if I can. very normal. 
<laughs> it's just Someone has seen his opinion. Like, if you guys would have seen this dog, you would have had the exact same reaction. Not, like, like, don't think it's about like anything like paranormal or anything like that. I just just it's look just, at the dog and just think, wow, that doesn't look that doesn't look like a regular dog. Yes, it, uh, it's just an ugly dog. Like, if you've ever seen a mutt before in the street, you would have said, oh, that's exactly what it is. Let's throw it in the trash or let's kick it up to the side. Not kick it to the side. It's not like a douchebag. <laughs> but it's like let's move it to the side. Like you're not gonna leave that on your lawn. Like it's just an ugly dog. <laughs> don't that's want not, this here. Just pick it up and. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just you look at that dog and it looks like a normal. There's nothing special about it. There's nothing. It has a short snout. That's all it has. Here it is. I'm dying to see it. Where'd you find it, brother? Um, the main, the main mutant. That's what it was called. No, I found them the crypto monster dog. You see? It just looks like a dead, ugly dog. Is this it, Frank? Mm-hmm. It's not under this or anything? It's not what? It's not under it's not <laughs> under, the, under what? <laughs> it's not under the the dog here? Yeah, it's not under the regular dog. <laughs> that isn't a regular dog to you? It doesn't look like anything special. It's just an ugly fucking dog. Yeah, it looks more it looks like a hyena kinda. Of. Yeah. Right, okay, do, like do, do, re- okay do rather do dogs look like hyenas? Like they do not. Yes, they do. Some of them. Uh, they, they do. I mean, a little bit. The they look. E- they look enough like hyenas that people thought they were related for for well, yeah, a long but then time. Yeah, they're not. They're not canines at all. This looks like a regular dog. We're gonna put this up. Fine. I don't think it looks like a regular dog. Bro, you know what I was expecting, man? I was expecting like something with like fangs and like red eyes. There's other pictures too. What if I would have showed you this? And like scales and like wings. You would have been looking at scales and wings. <laughs> we're gonna post a picture that I'm gonna post up now. And then this dog, like, you know, maybe I would have jumped back and, like, fucking, like, either kicked it or given it to science. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let me see. You want to take a look? Save that picture and send it to me. <laughs> we're going to post that one up. Save that. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to definitely put that up. All right. But check this out. Another. And sorry to the owner of this dog. I'm not making fun of your dog. I am making fun of your dog. But it's just... Okay, it has, like, a short head. Yes, but there's something special. Like a small head, I should I, say. But okay, but doesn't okay. You're right. It doesn't have like crazy said. Doesn't have wings and shit. But it does not look normal. Does it look like a normal dog I've ever seen? No, I, I can see what you're saying. Like, if you saw that in the street, would you not just think that's a mutt? Probably, man. I probably wouldn't think twice about it. Exactly. It looks like a mutt. It doesn't look like anything. Like, that lady had what a normal human being's reaction would have been to seeing that ugly ass dog. Okay, but what? Okay, but what if it's not a uh, a normal dog? That's fine, but I'm not a scientist, and I wasn't on, okay, this, but, I wasn't on a 30 year study. Alright, baby, yeah, maybe at first glance, okay, maybe if you see one in the street. If but I see that in the street, all right, I'm but, gonna think it's a dog. Okay, well, that's why fine. You, why that's you fine. Take I'm probably gonna think it's a dog too. But if you look at the dog, it, it really doesn't look weird. Like, fuck. That's why, so did weird. Take a, why did she take a picture of it? Yeah, that's exactly right, because she, did, she, she thought, thought it was, it was weird. weird. She said that it was weird. But she thought it was, maybe it was like a, like, a, like a disease dog or whatnot. And people had been looking for this dog. Because that she took a picture because she was going to post it on social media like everybody does on this. <laughs> I don't know. That's, a, that's an interesting point. But, uh, like, I, I, like, it, and not to get into too far into the subject, but like people do with everything. Like yeah, family exactly. members yeah. die, they go and take pictures like, yeah, I think that's crazy. She, she, she would probably be like, oh, uh, poor dog or whatever exactly. on, on Facebook or something. When that doesn't look like any dog I've ever seen, but it does look doggish. It looks like a regular dog. That looks like a regular dog. It looks like a regular mutt. You ever seen a mutt? It would be interesting though to find that and like have scientists examine it though. Have you ever seen yeah. a mutt? I have seen mutts. Okay. N- there, never would have like a face like that though. I, I used to it. live in a in, in a house mm-hmm. where they had this. They had two mutts exactly the same. They were like half Chihuahua, half a taller breed of dog. And mm. they fed this dog at least 80 pounds of food a day because it was. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it looked like it looked like a gallon of milk being held up by like toothpicks. Mm-hmm. Like it was <laughs> a gallon of a milk. A gallon of milk being held up by straws. <laughs> That's what this dog looked like. Like it was just weird. But I w- I'm not gonna go call scientists. And be like, hey, listen, I just found the weirdest dog in the world. Like, pick this shit up. Like, no, it's just a mud. Like, get out of here. <laughs> no, bro. This is a little different, man. It's just the, the, obviously his body's like a dog, but like his face. They have the whole body. They do. Yeah, check it out. So they found the dog. No, like no, the, no. The, she the, took the a full picture. body picture. <laughs> took a picture. Was it the main mutant? Is called main mutant. By the way, my my patch is Boniato. Uh, <laughs> Boniato five. Uh, write that down, Jamie. <laughs> write that. Down. <laughs> 
Pickle and knock on the door from Joe Rogan. Hey guys, enough. I'm <laughs> You've been served. You've been served. <laughs> You've been served. Show up to a podcast court. Yeah, podcast court. <laughs> Joke's on him, I'm gonna fucking shit. <laughs> what you want, Joe? Hey Joe, come on in. You want a cup of Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. Got to be grass and me. <laughs> that guy's actually, he can actually fight. Um, yes, yeah, for sure. That guy's <laughs> yoked. Yeah. He was really fighting on his life. Yeah. Like, I mean, he used to compete. Yeah. And I uh, in t- uh, Taekwondo. Yeah, uh, um, but he suffered headaches, so he had to stop. Like, yeah, something. As soon as you see this picture, it makes it look even more like a dog. Well, it has, like, oh, it has like something on the side. But that's no, 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 it's, it's a, a dog. dog. No, man, it's just it has a normal dog. It looks like yeah, you're right. It looks like a dog body, but like the face is just what does it for me. Dog. I definitely see what you're saying, Brian. It has like short legs, a fat ass neck. The face, short the face. face. It's a short, the, the, the compressed face on it. Like, yeah. it's weird. I see that picture. Again? Who <laughs> needs science when you've got Frankie? Exactly. Man, put all your analyticals away. We got Frankie on the job. <laughs> yeah, put your bullshit stats. <laughs> put that beaker away, son. <laughs> But um, still, man, it, it'd be very interesting to have someone analyze that and tell us what the, what they think it is. <laughs> Frankie would probably they'd probably give this dog to Frankie, right? It's like, a mutt. Come on. And they got and they go, can you take care of my dog and be like Frankie? Frankie be like, bro, that shit is ugly as fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is an ugly dog. Like you lose all sense of courtesy immediately. <laughs> like, bro, that thing is fucking ugly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like you're just like, oh, what the fuck. <laughs> Yeah, sure, I'll take care Fuck of you. Fuck out of your dog. <laughs> Dude, what's wrong with your dog? <laughs> Do you hit this thing? Do you beat this thing or what? Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell no. That's it, I already got the breed of dog for you to do. Oh, I man. That. <laughs> <clears throat> that definitely doesn't look uh, otherworldly, though. It doesn't look like extraterrestrial. Okay, so you're, you're, no, you're right. It could, or maybe it's corrupted called. or anything. Right, I mean... Perhaps it's not nothing like that. Maybe it's just like a mutation, or yeah. Or, yeah. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying it doesn't look like a regular dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's an inter- an interesting point. <laughs> Come on, let's get into character. <laughs> you can't go without our Pulp Fiction references. Never. <laughs> I mean, what's the nigga gonna do? He has a weight problem, Mr. Mullen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, we started talking about movies. <laughs> like that's just this is just how all, all the conversations go, anyways. Reminder. <laughs> okay, so get yourself and what I believe is pronounced Affin Pincher. We'll put a picture of it and mix it with like either a Chow Chow or a, or a uh, Wow Wow. Wow wow. Chow Chow's a natural breed. I know, is it? No. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Mix it with a Chow Chow or um, a German Shepherd, and you got yourself a stud. You ready to see this dog? Okay. Now picture this dog with like a German Shepherd snout. I, I just made the dog. I don't know. Come Let on. See? Let me see. No, man. I don't know. No, man. Don't Come know on, man. <laughs> I don't know about this one, Frankie. We're going to have to agree to disagree here. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Telling you, bro. I'll tell you what, if you got a chihuahua to fuck a hyena, I think that would be the, the end result. <laughs> fuck a hyena? Yeah, chihuahua because it's like small and a hyena because it looks weird. It looks like, I don't know, it has like a hyena neck and face type of thing. You don't see it? Yeah, no, yeah, you're right, you're right. But get, the- get a hyena to fuck a chihuahua, that's what you get. If they can even mate. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot. They cannot, I'm sure. They're, the chihuahuas are weasels. Are they? Yeah, they're weasels. They're not thugs? No. They're not canines. You're fucking with me. No, they're not. They're weasels. You're pulling my cock. I wish I was, but... <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, I wish I was. Now <laughs> But I'm not. It's a dog, right? What are you talking about? Huh? Hyenas? The, uh, the chihuahua is a dog. A hyena, I hyena, a hyena is, is in the weasel family. I thought you were talking about the chihuahua. No, no, no. I was talking about uh, okay. hyenas. Oh, yeah. I was like... <laughs> no, no. Chihuahua. Hold on. I was like, I wasn't trying to offend Chihuahua. <laughs> I thought, no, hyenas are mongoose. Yeah, they're weasel. They're, they're part of the weasel family. Also, oh, they're all part of yeah, yeah. the Itachi family. The Itachi family. 
I'm telling you, man, I want to get a weasel and call it Itachi. Let's do it. I mean, bro, have you seen how people keep them like big, small? Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, what, are, what are they called? Desk weasels or something? But yeah, but pocket pussy weasels. Pocket. I mean, just pocket weasels. <laughs> pocket weasels. <laughs> Dude, I was watching a Put video. Put your pocket weasel away. It actually does look exactly like a hyena. Mm -hmm. That dog? I, yeah. I'm telling you, get get a hyena to fuck a small dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Go ahead of, now. It's one of, uh, exactly, it's one of these rednecks that got bored. He's like, yeah, hold on, wait, wait. He got, he got bored, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna get this hyena to fuck up this uh this chihuahua. <laughs> it's gonna be great, guys. Yeah, watch, he's gonna eat him. <laughs> then, Wait, hold on, boy, don't do that. You got to, God damn, I kind of like it, boy. <laughs> Keep on going. <laughs> that guy somewhere has all these animals like caged up, like all these uh, main mutants. <laughs> yeah. In a cage somewhere. He's like, I'm not. I don't know what I'm supposed. To, I can't even fuck him. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't see anywhere that hyenas are part of the weasel family. Yeah, they, uh, just uh, look, uh, up. look up the scientific uh, the animalia? Classic, yeah. classification. Well, yeah, they're uh, they're animalia, chordata, but you know, because they're vertebrates and they're mammals. But somewhere along the line, they, they're not. They're, they're definitely not canines. Because people think that hyenas Hair. are. Animals. It's a very uh, Latin name. It's Feliformia. That's what they are. They're part of Feliformia. Click on that and see like what animals. Oh yeah, I see a, I see a weasel type of thing. Leopards and cats are part of something. It's not an option. <laughs> Wait. Scientific pause. Guys, uh. You wanna do that? I mean, we're not. We're not. We're just babysitting these bears here, boys. Uh, do you have a glass? Yeah. You have tall glasses? Uh, hold on. You have a it. short, tall glass? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, not glassy. You hear the thing, no, right? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a barrel in there. It's, a, it's just the way you just put them You put a whole barrel in there? You put a whole barrel in there, you know what I mean? <laughs> Crazy how they can fit barrels into cans. Yeah. Tell you, man, when these boys get together and start scientificating, I, can, I just don't know. Under, I don't understand what's going on. How does it taste for that can? Not bad. Not bad? Tastes uh, smooth. Is it watery? No, I wouldn't say so. Uh, when I had it earlier uh, in a glass, it was very watery. But I feel like it's the way I poured it. You're supposed to pour it a specific way. Yeah, these specifically, you're supposed to pour without like tilting the glass. You're supposed to pour it straight down. Just Guinness, uh, cut us a check, but uh, Guinness is great. No, oh, Guinness is fantastic. Someone, um, I was actually in Orlando this weekend, or last weekend, and um, I went out there and they didn't have, they didn't carry anything dark. They didn't have anything dark. There's only one place that has that carries it. <laughs> that's boy, that's racist. There's um, only one place, only one pub, and it's in the UK section in Epcot. Mm -hmm. that has uh, dark beers and all that stuff, but um. No man, uh, Guinness is the way to go. Get, oh, yeah. Anything dark like that, like I like, I, I'm, a, I'm a stout guy. Yeah, definitely a stout guy. I, I Def, definitely, you know, you gotta give a, you know love to your Heinekens and your of course. Coronas and no, stuff. Of course, no, of course, because that's where I, I learned how to drink beer from my Heinekens and my Presidente, so things like that and Coronas. And modelos. But you just learn to acquire things like cigars. Yeah. Like before, like I can only smoke. I started off smoking a regular cigar, like light, and now like I smoke that and I feel like I've. Done nothing to myself. Uh, I smoke now. Like Frank, Frank thought I was gonna die with the cigar that I have in my hand right now. And this is beautiful. Yeah, Frank likes the little cigars. Yeah, and he likes light cigars. Blah, blah, blah. I'm getting deep into the dark stuff. Once you go, I'm not gonna start. Shout out to our friend Miles Doman. He, he knows. <laughs> Cut it, yeah, Miles. Cut us a check. <laughs> if you're listening to this, I mean, we're an hour in. Okay, with the hug. So, his cheers. Cheers. Good TV show. Cut us a check. I'm just trying to get money from somebody. <laughs> Anyone? Anybody? Anybody? 20th Century Fox. Cut us a check. Mm. I know we're doing the whole movie thing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we buried off into. Many subjects. Mm, many different so, ones. Well, we're going to vary off the different one. Miami Dolphins. Uh-oh. They beat the Patriots. Oh, 
<laughs> they beat the Patriots. I'll be back, guys. Um, I was watching the game, and uh, John Gruden, he was commentating. I mean, he went to the game live. Mm-hmm. But John Gruden, he always does, like, Monday Night Football. Mm-hmm. And he was saying that the Dolphins were playing, like, like we thought the Dolphins were going to be this year. Like, because... They were playing defense. Yeah, they were playing defense, and they were... They, I mean, Jake Cutler had a hell of a game. Um, he, he outplayed Tom Brady. Like, who would have thought... I mean, if I told you before that game started that Jay Cutler was going to have a better night than Tom Brady, you would have shot me oh, in the deck. No, so you should have been there. Brady was underthrowing, like... He got picked off twice. He threw two interceptions. To the same guy. It was beautiful. It was... You were hitting him all game. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, the last time they had played, uh, Donovan Sue. And, and Donovan pronounced that right. And Dominic and Dominic and Sue. And Dominic Sue, whatever. <laughs> Sue and Dominic. Okay, that's your name, boy. <laughs> yeah, how they call him? Is that, just Sue. Sue, yeah. Um, the last time they played, I believe he sacked them twice or three times, mm-hmm. and hit him and, and hit him another eight times. Yeah. He was able to get eight licks, and this time the same. He was licking them up. He was. Dude, watching Sue in that game, it's it goes back to like his college days. Because mm-hmm. I don't know if you know about this, because uh, when he was with, with Nebraska. When he was in college, he was so dominant. Like they had to have three guys blocking him almost. Yeah. Like he was as a defensive lineman, he was actually a Heisman candidate. It's beautiful. You like how rare is that? Super. I mean, they've had like they, they've had instances where like, they have like offensive linemen being Heisman candidates. Mm-hmm. But uh, but to have a defensive lineman be a Heisman candidate, that's how dominant he was. Awesome. And watching that game, because he kind of struggled with the Dolphins a little bit. He's in, he's not the force that, that we th- that we thought he was going to be. But he's definitely picking it up. He's not very humble about it, though, either. Like, <sighs> being with the Dolphins, he feels like he's better than everybody. He, he's t- The reason I say that is because I've read statements of him saying that. Like, he feels like he's much better than everybody in that team, and he's better than that system. And, all, and I'm, I'm, sure, I'm not sure if he said that out of frustration in one article, but it, it did come out at... He, like, he, might, he might have said that. I mean, I still like Cameron Wake, though. Exactly. Even that's like, a, diff- a completely different position. Like, but Cameron Wake's my boy. Like, that's, like... That guy... And Kiko Alonso? I like Kiko that's Alonso. Kiko Alonso's a shit, dog. I like he's a He's a Cuban kid, too. Kiko Alonso, that's straight up hustle. Yeah. He's a uh, Cuban Puerto Rican, isn't he? Something like that. He's definitely half Cuban. Yeah. And people got upset at him because of that hit that he had on Joe Flacco. Oh, yeah. They tried saying it was a dirty hit. Like, yeah, this is football, man. Exactly. Um, I forgot who uh, was it that over Twitter on Twitter they posted it, that they had a uh, guy from the Steelers. Roethlisberger. Was no no some guy from the Steelers. Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown. The one that he came out recently with a video talking about like exactly that about like him hitting a player a couple of years ago and they call him, they now like classify him as a dirty player throughout. Like, I think I know who you're talking about. The uh, right uh, he was a cornerback. It's just it's just dumb man. It's just like. It, I, be, I I agree a hundred percent with what he said. He was saying that like the game nowadays is like so. When he signed up for football, he signed up for for a man's 100% game. hundred percent full speed contact sport. Right. He didn't sign up for oh like he says like his, his description is like he feels like at the NFL nowadays is like he has to ask for permission to hit you. Yeah. Like he has to ask you, hey, are you ready for for me to hit you? Mm-hmm. Like I, I feel the same. But now that, that you get fined and you get penalized for helmet to helmet and for you, you know people people are aiming for the for the knees. They, they they tackle low and that's how. I understand the brain is like a very delicate organ. Sure, but the knees. But you're gonna like snapping somebody's knee. I mean, do you remember who Dustin Keller is? No, I don't. Dustin Keller. He played for the Dolphins for one year. He was gonna be our tight end. Okay. And uh, he he I think it was preseason. He played Houston, and. Uh, some guy tackled him low, like, tore his ACL or whatever. Mm-hmm. And that's why you don't remember who Dustin Keller is. You, okay. you end careers like that. Of course. <coughs> Sorry. The guy, that, uh, the video is actually, um, House of Highlights posted it too. And uh, I think um, Barstool Sports. Yeah, Barstool. They, they, uh, they posted it. It's the guy from the Steelers, uh, Mike Mitchell. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I think he's a quarterback. And, uh, yeah, man, he went off about it. Like, it's just... It, it is upsetting, like, you see, like, all these people are getting fined, like, just because, like, all these dumb things, I don't know. I, I do feel like the game has changed a lot. I mean, maybe for the better, uh, just maybe... You protect your players. It, more, yeah. Honestly. But it's just more, like, you shouldn't be that restricted. Yeah, you know? I mean, people are gonna, I mean, you look at a guy like Joe Flacco, who's, like, what, 6'6", six, six? Like a tall, like weird exactly. looking guy. Like he doesn't slide. Like sliding is not like a regular thing for him. Yeah. A guy that big, he puts his shoulder into people. 
And like he, he first of all he slid late. Uh like uh, Kiko Alonso was already like in full run. Of course. You gotta stop yourself. You exactly. Whatever. It's a man's game. I mean he did hit him hard though. Joe Flacco I don't think he came back into that game. I d I don't I mean they were killing us. I didn't see I didn't see the whole game. But um it is what it is. Maybe the rule changes are good in the long term, but uh but camera camera waits my boy. I love that guy. Absolutely, man. I love it. It's a shame that he's only been to the playoffs with us once, right? Last year. Was it? Yeah, I guess the Steelers. Only one playoff game with us. Because if that guy wins a, a ring, definitely a Hall of Famer, I think. It's like uh, it's like uh, this guy over the weekend. Oh, setting uh, Stanton. Oh, Stanton, yeah. Stanton leaving to. Uh, to the Yankees. To the Yankees because he's never seen the playoffs. And like, yeah, I mean... You can understand it, but it's just like... It's, it's the, the Marlins are so toxic, though. Like, I can totally understand him leaving. You can? I mean... I guess it's just my Miami bias. I, 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 love, I love the Marlins, bro. I want them to be good, but... They've had such a history of, of having owners that don't care. And That's I mean... True, yeah. And I've Jeter wants to like you know blow up the team, and he wants to you know. I've heard, but like I've heard, I haven't really, guys. I don't really follow on baseball too much. I only get like my highlights off my ESPN app and all that stuff. Yeah. But I've heard that he's doing good for the Marlins. Like he's cleaning house. Like he's getting rid of like. Yeah, he he got rid of Loria, which is you know uh, one of the former owners. Yeah, he's getting rid of like the people that don't need to be. Yeah. So maybe like Marlins in the future can be good. But the thing, Stanton, I think how how old is he? Like twenty seven, maybe. Is he? Let me try. But, I mean, he's getting up there in age. I mean, of course, baseball players don't age like football players do. Like, baseball players can play into their 40s. But he's been with the Marlins organization since he was 17 years old. Like, uh, Tom Brady? <laughs> I gotta respect Tom Brady for that, man. 40 and throwing MVP numbers up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kind of what a savage. The guy ages like wine, bro. But, <laughs> the guy ages like wine. But, uh,. Stanton, <laughs> he's got a kick out of that one. <laughs> Stanton, uh, he's been with us since he was 17. Never sniffed the playoffs and never will at the rate that we're going. I mean, the guy wants to win. He wants to go to an organization that cares about winning. He went to the Yankees, but you can't blame him for that. I mean, how much losing can you possibly, like, take before you're just fed up? I mean, we haven't had a winning season since 2009. He's 28 years old, man. 28. I mean, he's got to make it happen, bro. We haven't had a winning season since 2009. We haven't been to the playoffs since 03. I mean, there's only so much a man can take, bro. No, you're right. You're 100%. And we had already traded D. Gordon to the Mariners. But didn't, uh, weren't you the one that was telling me that we got just a garbage trade out of that? We got Starling Castro, but then, uh, who was like a decent second baseman, but we also got, um, Two prospects, two minor league prospects. Do you think that they do that on purpose? Do you think they wanted the Marlins to be bad? I heard that they wanted the Marlins to be bad to force like a move into a new stadium, but uh, we got the new stadium already, and they haven't like the first year we we opened up the new stadium. We spent money. We got Jose Reyes. We got a couple other people, but when that team didn't work out, they traded Jose Reyes to the, to the Blue Jays. They traded Josh Johnson, who was one of our pitchers for a long time. They traded him to the Blue Jays. So they have this thing, like, they spend money, but if it doesn't work right away, they sell everybody again. They start over. Do you have to grow your team? I mean, Absolutely. Does that work in baseball? Like, oh, of course. I mean, baseball more so, because baseball, you have to promote players from within your own organization. I feel like, I feel like baseball players don't usually last long, last long in their teams, in the same teams. Like, but the, th the thing you might not necessarily, like... Uh, uh, taking into account is minor leaguers. They might be in the same uh, you know farm system for a long time mm -hmm. for the same team, but you know when they get to the major leagues, they might not stay as long in the major leagues with the same team. But you know they they, they have a lot of time invested in in the minor league system. Mm -hmm. But uh, just like Stanton, he's been with the Marlins since he was seventeen. Mm -hmm. It's two thousand seven. Yeah, so he's been there for ten years. Yeah. You give me you give me a name of the uh, uh, I Oh, yeah. Alex Rodriguez got drafted right out of high school by the Mariners. What age did uh, LeBron start in uh, the NBA? 18, but now in the NBA, you have to have a, a year removed a year. Yeah. From, from high school. Mm -hmm. Just like the, the Ball brothers, uh, Leangelo and LaMelo, uh, they, well, Leangelo was already in UCLA, and, and he had the whole uh, scandal where he got caught shop, uh, shoplifting in China. He's, is, is that still going on, isn't it? Well, he's already here, but the, he he was suspended by UCLA, 
And then his father got upset because he said, you know, we're only going to go to UCLA for one year. And if you're not going to let us play, you know, he's going to uh, drop out of, of UCLA. He's, he's going to leave UCLA. And that's exactly what he did. Him and his younger brother, who hasn't even gone to college yet, they signed uh, a contract with some uh, Lithu Lithuanian team to play in Europe for a year and then go to the NBA. Because they actually want all three to, to play for the Lakers. So the Ball Brothers. The Ball Brothers. I mean, uh, Zoe's already there. Isn't he like the bad one, though? Like the one Leandro? In China, in China, yeah? yeah, yeah. He's the worst one of the three for sure. Yeah, isn't that like the, the, the younger one is... The younger one is... All right. He's like, yeah, he shoots threes like crazy and the older ones are already, you know, in the NBA. He was kind of like, mm -hmm. he, He's definitely the, the least talented. But, um... It's crazy how they can, like... I feel like those people just blow up out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. I, I felt like I, I didn't know who the, I mean, ball, the ball family was, like, till, like, a couple months out. Yeah, but that's that's because uh, the younger one, the mellow, he put up, like, 100 points in a high school game or something. Yeah. And, like, all three of them were, like, balling for, for Chino Hills High School in Los Angeles. I think it's Los Angeles. They were all, like, balling for the school, and, like, their father is super outspoken. But I think he's damaging them, bro. Like... The younger one, he should at least have a chance. I mean, the guy that got caught in uh, shoplifting, he threw it away. That's fine. He can go play overseas. But the younger one... Why take him overseas? Like, like sign him to you. Let him at least try out for UCLA. Yeah. And then go into the NBA his own way. I mean, he would get a scholarship for sure. Of course. Get, a, to go to UCLA. But... Huh? You're, you're, <laughs> but he's, he's ruining his, that kid's career. He hasn't even gotten a shot to play college basketball. He should... They definitely should let him play football. But you should. You always should experience college ball. Oh, absolutely. You got the, like, the, I think they should actually do make them do two years in, in college. Yeah. At they, least get an AA out of it or something, you know? I mean, I don't know about getting it. Just play two years of college basketball. A lot of these kids come into the NBA super young, and they, they can't adapt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially him. Like, I don't know. Like, how much bigger can you get like, throughout college? Yeah. He's a pretty small guy, ain't he? The the younger one is pretty small. I mean, yeah. the, even uh, Leandro, the middle one. Yeah. The big one, the, the, the one that's in made now, he's pretty big. Yeah. Tall, wise, height. Right? Yeah, he's a point guard, I think. Yeah, but I think the the middle one is supposed to be like a, some sort of forward. Yeah. Or like a small forward or something. But he's not that big. And the small one is like super small. Order. But Frank is, uh, you know, the expert of, of basketball. Uh, Amongst yeah. us. Oh yeah, definitely. You don't hear my way. <laughs> yeah. He's so interested in his conversation. He's having a. Uh, what are those called again? Snappies. Yeah, those uh, the peas chips, the snappy <laughs> chips. Frank, come over here. We'll talk about movies. Come on. Yeah, we we don't have snack in the middle of. Uh... Oh wow, no, they're right. They're all pretty big. Are they? Leandro six or five. Yeah, but what positions does he play? He's a guard. Oh, he's a guard. So then, what's the other? No, the other one's definitely like a point guard. Lamelo is six foot three. Oh, really? Yeah, they're all fucking huge. They all look small. And then let me see. Oh yeah, and then Lonzo's already is six six. Oh yeah, never mind. I take that back, Ball Brothers. You're all biggest foot. I'm five foot eleven. But uh, Lonzo the point guard, isn't he? For the Lakers. Oh, let me try. Yeah, he's a point guard for sure. He's struggling. Uh, pretty, you know, struggling a lot in the NBA. You think he's struggling? I, mean, I don't think he, uh, I think they're I think he came in with too much attention into the NBA because of, of yeah, his father and his family and, yeah because his family so like you have people like um, who was it I think it was John Wall like what, like just straight called him out saying that he was going to make his life like impossible like when he played him and, I don't know if it was John Wall somebody absolutely said that though or was it I don't remember I, thought I don't was, remember who it was but someone said that he was going to make his life impossible while playing and like but why like he, that guy like if you ever see any of the videos like you can tell in that guy's face that he thinks his dad's a fucking nut job. Yeah, yeah. He's always quiet. He's quiet. He's just looking at his dad and he's just, all right, okay. He just goes with it. Like, did you see them appear on WWE? No. Him and, and Lonzo, uh, Lavar, the father, and, and Lonzo, they came out on WWE and Lavar hammed it up, bro. Like, Lavar came out tearing off his shirt and acting all crazy. And Lonzo's just like, bro, are you serious? <laughs> can, can we just go up there yeah, we could. and get Stone Cold stunnered and then just go back? Go home and just check. <laughs> but you want to go, you know, do all these crazy things? I mean, you can definitely tell. That yeah, you can tell that he thinks that that's a fucking thing. Trust me. Frank, come over here. Give me a kiss. Thank you. <laughs> you 
but uh yeah it's a hell of a podcast we got going on oh i love this all of this is going up by the way yeah nothing is getting cut off no absolutely not the only editing that's gonna happen here is like subtitles oh man it's gonna be a bitch for our subtitles. southern accent you know what i'm talking about now <laughs> it's gonna be a uh, let me tell you right now is the guy that wrote the subtitles for the first one that was only 20 minutes long I'm gonna uh, murder myself Okay <laughs> I'm gonna cut off my dick By the way For anybody who don't know Hizzy did write All the subtitles For the first one And he can recite The first podcast Without a problem uh, no. no Not anymore <laughs> When he first did it He can recite it I, Yeah Well Everything Well, well. <laughs> He recite He recite 20 minutes of Like I mean If you write 20 minutes Of subtitles of anything Of course like You know how many times I have exactly. to buy stuff back bro he, yeah, That's like 12 hours of editing you're gonna be like, <laughs> you're gonna remember a lot of. <laughs> Bro, I'm just doing the video for that one, cause it, it kept it kept, uh, it kept not saving on my computer. I had to I had to redo that video about five times. Okay. <laughs> and to do just like ten minutes of like you know pictures and trans, you know, it's a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just to do ten minutes, it takes like an I think, hour. I think Chris told me one time they go, "Oh, how long have you been working on that, bro?" Like, listen. Do not talk to me about editing. <laughs> Don't talk to me about like anything with production value of the, of the of, like production. We have to do anything production of the of the podcast. You have no say in anything. <laughs> you come here, you don't want to talk. And that's that's <laughs> we're not even good yet at editing. So I can only imagine like when we actually get into it, get into it, and like start doing like animations and start doing. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. was telling me that we should um, instead of like doing the pictures. But like again, we're not artistic that way. We should get Nelson to do it. Nelson, do it for the free. Um, and then cut us a check. Us, and cut us a check. <laughs> if you're uh, still listening at this point. Yeah. Um, he says to do um, animations with stick figures of others. Yeah, I was thinking of some, doing something like that too. Yeah. Or like having, I don't want to say I stole this idea from a YouTuber, but I totally did. It's uh, this guy that he does like a like a him. It's like a little character that's him, and he he like talk and he he does like certain gestures. You know, yeah. something like do, that. Do you remember when I told you about that? It's in the program that we have. That we can, um, if we had webcams, it just, it, it does a, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it does a um, facial recognition thing. And it, it follows, it does all your, your facial movements. If it's you, but like you what have. iPhone does now? Huh? Like what iPhone's trying to promote now? Oh, they have that? Yeah, the iPhone X is trying to promote that. No, no, but this, what it does is like, you make your own. No, Samsung had it a long time ago. Yeah, okay. Oh, cut us a check. 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 Either or. Either or. Either or. What are you talking about? Either or, yeah. Both. Both. <laughs> the answer to your either or question is yes. <laughs> so, and what, so let's say you make a, you have an artist do an animation for you, mm-hmm. like a, of, of your face or whatever. So let's say, let's say like, like Nelson will do like Hizzy's face, right? Or however he wants it. Yeah, and then and you it, can just track it to you can track it and mm-hmm. talk to like, yeah, and we can just have like that podcast. Like, yeah, that that'll there. take lots of money. No, it's not. We have that program. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. why don't we do that? We could do that. We just need somebody. Because right now we are software illiterate, and it's gonna no, take no, some experiments. Very simple. Boy, simple. I hooked this entire podcast up in fifteen minutes. That's my personal best. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but yeah, it's I only read the instructions it, twelve times. That's a new record. This one's simple. <laughs> this last time it was thirty. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. So this one's simple. We can do it. We just need something somebody with good art. <laughs> yeah. And hand Nelson Fuentes. Nelson, Nelson Fuentes. Fuentes. Cut check. <laughs> for no reason other than, you know, we need it. <laughs> we need it for production. But, I mean, bear with us, man. Because uh, when we actually figure this out, this is going to be amazing. But for right now. For right now, just listen to our. Listen to that. Like, listen to us serenade your ears. With our lovely voices. In your ear. Your ears. Making love to your ear. Your ear hole. No. <laughs> All right, let me ask you a question. If you could, if you can only pick one out of these three, which one would you pick? Sing, draw, or cook? Sing. Sing? Yeah. Frankie? I'm talking about like top class, like elite level. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't know, man. The singing, I can make a lot of money, but um, I've always loved the kitchen. Like, yeah. not because I'm fat or anything, because I am fat. I'm losing weight, but fat. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know. I think I, I, I think I'd probably go with cooking. Like throw down, throw down. Yeah, yeah like Gordon Ramsay love him. Yeah, cooking. I, I'd probably go singing for the bitches. I mean, if you 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 sit a you sit a girl down, I don't care if you look like a grizzly bear. You sit a girl like, down. You don't care if you look like Mark Anthony. <laughs> Say no more. Say no more. Because <laughs> we're gonna sing, but you know. Yeah, he's uh, quite ugly everywhere else. 
But cut us a check. You, you can cut us a check anyway, because we love you. Uh, you could look like Roy Nelson, right? But if you can sing like an angel, you will get your dick sucked. Like, 99% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Listen, I'm sure Gordon Ramsay's getting his dick sucked somewhere. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> 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 all right. I'm sure Gordon, you can. Gordon Ramsay, cut us a check, bro. Cut us a check, Gordon. Save your, your, Listen, Gordon Ramsay, I watch all your videos, okay? He does. You're he, amazing. Did you know that? He, he, he gets, he's like deep into like the whole, like, uh, cooking. I, I've seen like all his shows, like Iron Chef, not Iron Chef, but Master Chef, mm -hmm. uh, Hell's Kitchen, uh, Kitchen Nightmares. I've even kind of contemplated getting into Hotel Hell, where he goes into hotels that are failing. It's crazy you remember that. You remember that, that show on Spike TV that was about this guy who used to go to like um, bars and fix him up? Yeah, it was um, that was same guy's guy. Yeah, he yeah. Looked like really? uh, he looked like a. Uh, he was cool though. That was good. that was a good show. Yeah, Bar Rescue is called Bar, bar Rescue. Rescue. I think that show still might be going on. Like the the pit my ride of bars, basically. Yeah, that show was actually, yeah. that show is pretty cool because it's, it's, it's a show. Some, bar, some bars that you'll call out like some people are stealing from it and mm -hmm. they're like straight up like people are like trying like be cool about it and just don't have to go fuck themselves he's like a Gordon Ramsay of bars <laughs> yeah he does he, he acts really tough and stuff yeah. but he does good does good well Gordon Ramsay doesn't act tough I mean he's just dedicated to what he does he's a perfectionist I'm not saying act tough I'm just saying he's a tough guy like he's just a tough guy to be around when it comes to no nonsense guy he, no nonsense he, he's worth ethic right 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 That has Baracha. We're not gonna cut that out. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm quite fond of Gordon Ramsay. I saw a video of him where he he goes with like some Icelandic guys. It might not even be in Iceland, but it's cold, okay? And he went with some guys to like a lake, mm -hmm. and they cut a hole in the lake, and they went to get a crab from like the bottom because mm -hmm. that's where they live, and he, they. They, they went fishing for this crab. They caught it by hand, pulled it out. By hand? By hand. They got, well, from, it's a big ass crab, bro. Okay, no, but how deep is the lake? It was kind of deep. So how did they grab a hand? Like, they dove? Yeah, they, they dove down. <laughs> okay. They dove down, they grabbed it by one of its legs, they oh, pulled wow. it up, and Gordon Ramsay cooked it. Right there and then? Right there and then. Wow. And served it to him. That's yeah. savage. I mean, cut us a check, bro, but, uh, <laughs> you know. We would set up cook us a meal. That's the name we'll of the podcast. We'll make an exception. Cook, cook us. <laughs> 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 well, for him, we'll make an exception. Cook us a meal, Gordon Ramsay. Cook us a meal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That'd be badass. Or both. But, uh... Alright. Uh, I think, I think we're gonna... Uh, get it right here today. What do you think? <laughs> Wrapping it up? Yeah, Wrapping it up. up. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure. This yes. is Big Frankie. You can follow me at Van Payne Frank. <laughs> or on our YouTube channel, Coast to Coast. And the Pumpernickel, and the Pumpernickel Boys. Boys. We're the Pumpernickel Boys. <laughs> you, gotta be, you gotta be careful with, uh, ooh, what's going on here? Sorry, you gotta be careful with Frankie, though. He's gonna try to sell you a pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna sell you a pyramid scheme. <laughs> a single pyramid scheme. <laughs> we don't know what it's called yet, but follow him just to find out. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay please tuned. And please I subscribe. Got this. I got this for you guys. <laughs> for the pyramid scheme. Yes. Yeah, so please, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe to Coast to Coast and the Pumpa Nickel Boys. Hizzy, we're out of here. <laughs> we're out of here. Get us out of here. Come on, Hizzy. I love you all. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.